Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Monster Girl Quests. Let's defeat the slime girl once and for all. This time, let's attack. Quit it. Luca tries to attack. The slime is around Luca's foot, preventing him from attacking. Moving. Ah, useless struggling. How embarrassing. <laughs> I cannot do anything. She's reaching my tight. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of there. Oh, she's in a bad place. She's in a bad place. You won't be able to last long with my slime technique. When you can't take it anymore, just let it out. What am I about to do? Uh, attack? Struggle? What do I do? Struggle? Ah, get out of me. Luca forced the slime off of him. Ah, oh, whoa. Oh. Oh, right as I was about to make you feel good too. Don't you want to reach heaven? Well, when I'm old, I want to reach heaven, not now. Don't you want my slime to wrap around you and bring you to the ultimate pleasure? The slime begins to laugh. <laughs> okay, I can use my skill now, edging. What kind of skill is edging? This is my way of fighting. Luca focuses his mind carefully. Uh, my vitality sharply uh, decreases? What type of attack is that? Even though my opponent is a monster, I still don't want to hurt her. But you want to hurt her. Here I go! Even though this is my first time against a real enemy, I've trained with Maki every day. If I can't beat Maki, I can beat this slime. Luca attack! Oh, this time I avoided. it. Eh? Unlike Maki, the slime was able to avoid the attack. Ha ha ha, such a slow attack. How could that eat anyone? So if I use a quicker attack, will I be able to eat you? That's a secret. <laughs> she looked worried for a second. Eh, hey, let me surface you. The slime reaches out with a slimy tentacle? You also have tentacles? Lucas is gently massaged by the slime. I don't like massages. Ah! Luca did the wrong thing on the slime's hands. I was defeated again. How am I supposed to win this uh, match? You let out so much. I guess it felt pretty amazing. <laughs> uh -huh. No, not again. Oh, come on. They're already here. Losing to the first enemy. How pathetic. <laughs> Beaten by a slime. The punching bag enemy of RPGs. Remember to use struggle if you are bound. As long as you are able to move, it's an easy fight. If you are bound when your HP is below half, the slime has a small chance of using slime heaven. But if we fight normally, this situation shouldn't occur. Well then look it's time to try again. I will always watch over you. Okay, so struggle when she's uh, bounding me. Let's keep attacking this slimy tot. Big attacks are no good. I guess I'll just need to use a lot of small ones. <laughs> Well then, Lucas small attack! Oh, I did it! 5 damage, alright! The slime body will combine... Uh, she recovered HP! I'll try to feed her then! Eh? Hehehe! <laughs> I'm a slime, you moron! Sword attacks are no good! No, no way! The first enemy is invulnerable? That's just unfair! Oh, Elias, what should I do? Please, goddess, tell me! Hehe, <laughs> you look delicious! The slime girl is giggling! <laughs> Take this! Look at X! Yeah! Come on, that's not fair! If I can't win by attacking normally, what should I do? Hey, hey, just give up and let me wrap you up! I'll be sure to squeeze you for every last drop! With my slimy body, I'll let you reach heaven! You can give me milk over and over again until nothing is left! I'm almost dead already! The slime grows and starts to laugh! <laughs> I'm on the guards. Luca takes a defensive stance. Fu 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 fu. The slime girl is giggling. Luca struggles intensely and breaks free. Oh, just to beat to me already. Never. Let's keep attacking her. Take this. I don't know what to do anymore. Maybe if I attack even faster. Normal attack. Flail wildly. Luca starts to swing his sword around randomly. Yeah, let's cut into pieces. That's a good strategy. Ah, uh, ah. Okay, come on, Luca. Keep going, keep going, Luca. Luca, Luca, Luca. Yes, yeah, slicer. Slicer up. Whoa, 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 whoa. The slime t desperately begins to uh, recombine. She's unable to recombine fully. If I attack like this, Luca, ultimate attack. Slay Lurandly. <laughs> Come on, I'm sick and tired of this slime girl already. That's it. Oh, she ran away. We won. Slime girl was chased away. I earned 10 experience points. I'm level 2. Yes. Better than level 1. <sighs> After the slime ran out of my sight, I fell on the ground while dropping my sword. Exhausted. If the fight had gone on for another 30 seconds, I would have lost. But I guess no matter what happened, in the end, a victory is a victory. I, I did it. My body started to tremble at the realization that I just defeated my first opponent. Even if it was a sloppy fight, I was still able to protect my village. I love very sloppy jobs. I'm also glad I chased her off without killing her. I picked my sword back up and put it in my sheet with a, a sigh of relief. <sighs> I don't want to actually kill monsters, 
whether I think that humans and monsters should be able to live together. Not if the only thing that they want is my milk. That's why I'm determined to beat the monster lord. Should I go back to the village? But today is my baptism day. Today is the day that I will receive my baptism and add out on my journey to defeat the monster lord. Filed with renewed strength for my victory and with thoughts of my coming adventure in my mind, I head back to the village. Beat it, the monster lord, eh? I stopped walking and looked up at the sky. Ah. Beautiful sky. A long time ago, humans coexisted with monsters. Monsters lived in human villages with men in harmony. They still had some quarrels between the races at times. But even then, it never turned into a serious conflict. However, 30 years ago, a huge incident occurred. In Ramina, a town near the Monster Lord's castle, there was a huge slaughter. Monsters suddenly attacked the city, turning it into a scene of from hell. As a result, Ramina was destroyed and only ruins remained. A horrible tragedy that didn't leave a single survivor. Even since the slaughter of Ramina, the relationship between humanity and monsters changed. They forced monsters out of uh, human towns and wild monsters started to attack people. The Monster Lord who ruled over the other monsters declared war or declared war on humanity. Both sides had now come to hate each other, but the degree of that hate seems to vary by area. Though there are locations that hold intense hatred, it's said that the few locations where men and monsters coexist still remain. Like the difference in areas, there are also some people who do not believe monsters are evil. Saying that, there's no denying that humans and monsters were able to live together peacefully at one point in history. I mean, if humans can be bad, monsters can also be bad and good. That's why I if I'm able to defeat the monster lord who's forcing the monster to do evil, I'm sure everything will go back to how it was before. I'm sure man and monster will be able to coexist peacefully again. For that reason, I love. I will defeat the monster lord, even if it comes at the cost of my life. Oh, what? Oh, a earthquake? What was that? Oh, what was that? The sound of a large impact reverberates around the area, shaking the ground. It sounds like something near me exploded. That sounded like it was close by. What the heck was it? I ran to the source of the sound. <laughs> Where are we? Pushing through the trees, I head further into the forest. Where I found... Oh, hello there, another monster. Did she faint? A beautiful woman lying on the ground. Monster woman. Her, not quite. Her lower half had a snail tail and even her skin. Oh, so you said of a mermaid, which is half woman and half uh, fish. It's half woman and half snake. That's an interesting concept. No way that she can be a human, a monster. Moreover, she seems like a real powerful monster, though I have no idea what happened. It seems like this monster girl fell somehow. Uh, Mrs. Monster, are you dead? The strange monster lies there, unmoving. The trees around her are destroyed, and even the ground is dented. From the impact, it seems like she must have fallen from the sky. Just what the hell happened here? Oh, what should I do? If she's still alive, if I don't help her? Of course, I don't hate monsters. Rather, a world where men and monsters can coexist is my goal. So even though she's a monster, I don't want to leave her. But today, I can't lose any more time. What should I do? I don't have much time. Since today is my baptism day, I have to worry to the Elias temple. We can just cook her. No one has to know it, right? I can only receive the baptism on noon of the day of departure. If you don't hold the ceremony at that time, there will never be another chance. In other words, it's a once in a lifetime chance. But I still have some time before noon. But if I mess around, I might not make it in time. I want to help, but maybe pretending like I never saw her will be better. Uh, what should I do? If I don't worry, after thinking about it, I... Oh, so I get to choose! I mean, to be honest, I really don't care about the ceremony. For me, it doesn't say anything. And I can just help her and go to it, right? So let's uh, help her. If I just left her here, there's no way I could be a true hero. I run up to the monster and check her face for signs of life. She looks like- Oh, she's alive! Eh? She was pretending. Suddenly, the monster's eyes opened. She stares intently at my face and quickly jumps up. Uh-oh. She looks evil now. She looked way more innocent when she was with her eyes up, uh, uh, closed. Where am I? While staring directly at my face, she apparently asks a question. Eh? I said, where am I? Even though she asked in such a rude manner, I respond truthfully, lie, ignore her. I'm going to say the truth to her. Um, you're close to the Elias village. I was so taken in surprise that I answered honestly. I was blown to such a place. That damn girl. What crazy strengths. Girl? Anyway, who are you? Ignoring my hesitation, she asked me another question. I... Do I have a reason to lie to her? I don't. So I'm just gonna say the truth. I'm the hero apprentice Luca from the nearby Elias village. I respond truthfully. A hero apprentice? So we haven't been baptized yet. You do smell pretty delicious. She licks her lips with a smack. Nice. A chill runs down my spine. 
Oh crap, that's right, I don't have time for this. That's right, the baptism. I have to get back before I'm late. The monster girl doesn't seem to be injured at all. So I should get back quickly or else I might be late. Well, I'll be off then. Stop! The monster huge snake tail scars around my body. Oh no. I'm forcefully turned around to face her again. Ah, I understand her situation now. Today is Elias' birthday. So you're trying to receive your baptism. That's right, so can you please let go of me? Ever since deciding to be a hero, I've looked forward to today. I trained every day in preparation for my baptism, and today is finally the day. Elias' baptism, how oh, foolish. F foolish? Foolish. She disregards my way of life in a single word. At first I was angry, but now I'm somehow discouraged. Even though she just met me, she already rejected my entire life up until now in such a ugly manner. Whatever, just... Just let me go, alright? However, she keeps her tail coiled around my body, not letting go. Why didn't you try to kill me when I was unconscious? Um, ki kill you? A golden opportunity for someone aiming to be a hero, killing a monster like me. I'm at a loss for how to respond to that. I didn't know if you were good or bad, there's no way I could just kill you like that. How? You didn't see all monsters as an enemy? Certainly there are people who do, but I'm different. I don't hate monsters just because they are monsters. But you want to become a hero. Someone who doesn't treat all monsters as an enemy, why would you become a hero? Whose goal is to kill the monster lord? What type of title is hero in this universe? Is it for fame, ambition, or... I don't want to be that kind of hero. I don't even particularly hate the monster lord. I just want to stop her from doing evil things. Oh, so the monster lord is a woman. So all the monsters are girls? Man and monster fighting each other is wrong. It's bad for both sides to be fighting like this. What? I don't want to kill monsters or even the monster lord. I want a monster where man and monster can coexist peacefully. If the monster lord gets in the way, then I'll just have to defeat her. That's what I swore to myself. You're an idiot. Gah. Her words pierced me through the chest. Why am I an idiot? I just want men and monsters to believing in an immature view of world peace with everyone living in harmony peacefully with no issues. What is that but idiotic? Uh, I couldn't respond with anything back. A child who doesn't understand the world is living in, monsters living end to end with humans? When are you going to wake up from your dreaming? But I, I understand. You still have the mind of a child. Just go, little boy. After cheating me like a child, she's slowly releasing her tail around my body. Well, what do you know, you idiot? Don't call her an, an, an idiot. While running away, I shot a dead back at her. I might really be just a child. And a child is about to die. Ah, jeez, what was that? Anyway, just what was wrong with her? I tried to help her and all she did was insult me? She seemed really strong though. I let out a small sigh as I ran away. <sighs> no matter how much I struggled, I don't think I could have even scratched her. Maybe she could even have been one of the monsters lords famous for heavenly nights? I'll just forget about it. I'll just forget about the monster girl and focus on Elias. That's right, today is going to be an amazing day. The long awaited day where, where I'll finally become a hero. Oh great Elias, I'll definitely beat the monster lord. My change in thinking made my feet feel lighter as I continued on to the temple. I just arrived at the temple! <sighs> It's noon right now. While exhausting from running, I reach the temple steps. My face as lifeless as a zombie's. My once in a lifetime baptism. I cannot be late. I was supposed to arrive timely before noon to go through the proceedings. So guys, with that, we're gonna stay here for the second part of Monster Girl Quest. If you guys enjoyed Monster Girl Quest, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell me what I should do next in the future. Are we going to become stronger once we get our baptism? I don't know, I never played this game, so you guys tell me if you played it. So guys, without further ado, kisses, say goody goody, and of course, check the Patreon to see everything uncensored, although in this episode I don't think there was anything censored. So guys, say goody goody, and of course, bye.